Hey everyone, so tonight for dinner I'm doing an updated version of a recipe we first did on the channel in 2012. And it's a recipe that we make fairly often and over time it has changed and evolved and we don't always make it the same every time. Some of the ingredients differ a little bit so I thought I'd do a recipe video again and if you wanted to you can compare the two and see how they've changed. But at its core it's chicken, thyme, and white wine, a uh, little bit of frying, a little bit of braising. So start out with uh, salt and pepper on the chicken. And just toss those around to make sure that you get them coated on all sides. Um, in the end, probably not terribly important with this recipe. Um, you're going to get a lot of flavor in there no matter how you season these. Next up I've got uh, some shallots and I'm just going to cut those in half. Um, I'm not going to cut them any finer than that. I kind of like the big chunks. And I've got uh, some cloves of garlic and I'm just going to sort of break them. Not really going to crush them. Just break them open a little bit. Now this is some chicken stock that I'm just making from scratch. Um, I've always got a bucket of chicken bones and anytime I debone thighs or a chicken, I put the bones in the freezer and I will make a giant stock pot of, uh, of chicken stock that I will either can or freeze. Um, and in the middle when I run out, I'll just chip off some bones, put them in a pot with an onion and some salt and pepper and a little bit of celery pour enough water over just to make enough stock for tonight's meal. So that's what's going on in here. Started that about 15 minutes ago. And by the time I get to the point where I need it, um, it'll be ready to go. So next up, let's heat this pan. Hit that with some olive oil. And in goes the chicken, skin side down. So while the chicken's on the go, I'm going to slice up this lemon, uh, get rid of the tip, and then just some nice sliced rounds. Depending on what you like, um, anywhere from half to a whole lemon or how big the lemon is obviously affects how much you want to use. And you also want to go through and take out all the little pips because no one likes a lemon seed in their dinner. And we're not trying to cook it through at this point, we're just getting a little bit of browning on the skin. So I'll turn it over. And now I'll throw in the shallots. And some of the smaller rounds of lemon uh, I want to get these rounds of lemon right at the bottom of the pan. Get them good and caramely. Got some thyme. And I just throw that in whole. Uh, maybe break it up a little bit just so that it gets down to the bottom. But you don't need to worry about stripping off the leaves. And of course, the garlic. Again, get the garlic down to the bottom of the pan just so it sweats a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use the whole lemon tonight. So I'll just finish slicing that up. At this point, I think we're ready for the wine. So, uh, as much as you want, um, I'm going to let that bubble and reduce and concentrate the flavors. And next in is some of the chicken stock I just made. And so, I've got a really good bubble on that now. It's, uh, it's cooking really well. On go the rest of the lemon pieces. And they can go on top of the chicken, around the chicken, just in the pot, anywhere. And now I'm going to put that in the oven to finish cooking.
And that's it. Half an hour in the oven, and, um, and I'm got... ready here just on time. So let's pull one out and we'll give it a taste before we go to the dinner table. So just reviewing the recipe, how is this different than than the one we had the other night? The so we had chicken piccata a couple nights ago. Okay, wasn't sure of its name, but yeah, similar. This stuff. shares almost all of the same flavors, the same sort of flavor ballpark. Um, yeah, you, you got the lemons, you got the, yeah. Yeah, and you could definitely put capers in this. I didn't put any capers in. I really in. like the capers in this. Yeah. So is that the one ingredient that's different? Um, the spicing is a little bit different, but I think I think capers, that chicken just falls apart. Skin's nice and crispy. Yeah, that piece is still too big for me. Mm. That's really nice. I do miss the saltiness of the capers. Though. If I was going to choose one, I would choose the, the other one. My personal, but it's still really great chicken. Or just put the capers in here. Well, that's a whole new recipe um, then. It is a whole new recipe, and I know a lot of people are going to say, that's not chicken piccata. It's not chicken piccata. It's chicken piccata adjacent. Throw the capers in. And, that's, and there's a sauce in the bottom there that, oh. would, um, that would be absolutely fantastic on, like, mashed potatoes. Any type of carb. Yeah. Yeah, rice. So, uh, rice, you could put this with, with a pasta, and it would be fantastic. Oh yeah, um, but I would I would try the best mashed potato recipe ever. That would be my personal choice. That's just me. You're just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. Um, yeah. So give this a try. All right. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.